just got the first official details of the reveal event for Call of Duty 2023 that we now know is Modern Warfare 3. And in this video, we're going to be diving into everything we know because we're given a small glimpse of this event, but we also have a lot of leaks to tell us how the event's going to work. We had in-game reveal events for Cold War and Vanguard, which were amazing, so this should be even better than those. Let's jump into everything you need to know, but if you love these in-game reveal events like I do, then let me know by dropping a thumbs up. And if you want to see the reveal event live stream, then be sure to subscribe subscribe to the channel right now with the bell tick so you don't miss it. Season 5 for Modern Warfare 2 was just revealed and within the roadmap for Warzone, there is a new event, which is the Call of Duty 2023 reveal event. We get a tiny image with us telling us that it happens in the season and with all the leaks we've seen, this reveal can't be too far away. But over on the Call of Duty blog, we have this official image of the reveal event itself showing Zaya Observatory, but there is a different colored sky. There is some ash and ember burning in front of the camera and it looks like the actual observatory towers are being destroyed. Now the official wording we're given is to drop into Call of Duty Warzone to experience the worldwide reveal in a limited time event. Join the ranks of Shadow Company to take on Coney forces and secure the chemical weapon threat before it's too late and to stay tuned for more details about the upcoming reveal. On a base level that doesn't tell us too much apart from an event taking place by the observatory. But like I said earlier according to leakers they know more details about this reveal event and it links up exactly what what COD said in the blog. According to MW2 Intel on Twitter, they said the rumored reveal event will have you helping Shadow Company capture missile silos on our Mazra while defending those silos from enemies. That sounds like a map-wide thing, but there is something very specific with the observatory where we will apparently be invading a bunker located under the observatory in search for a gas canister which we will exfil with. Now, until we get the official details from Activision, we don't know if this is 100% true, but it seems very likely and there's evidence to back this up. If you go onto Almazra right now and go to the bunker entrance right of Zaya Observatory, when the game first released you could see this bunker containing graffiti to the left and right and on the bunker door itself. But if you go there now you'll notice that the graffiti has been completely wiped off of the bunker door, revealing a ton of detail that wasn't there before, showing that hidden under Almazra the entire time has been a secret underground facility, which we can assume is going to be used for the Modern Warfare 3 reveal event. Now, there is a DMZ mission tied to this. We have to pick up an explosive charge outside of the bunker entrance, but it's very suspicious that they got rid of all the graffiti and left it as a bunk of door, very similar to the ones that are in the Koshai complex. Call of Duty are no strangers to bunker doors, and on the channel, we've covered bunker doors for years in Warzone. So I'm happy that there's going to be a secret bunker in the main Warzone Almazra map that is going to contain some secret thing that we need Need to exfil with. Now, I think just like with all events, regardless if you complete the event activity or not, the game will end with the reveal trailer for Modern Warfare 3 playing in game. So we know that the premise of the event is around securing a chemical weapon and exfilling with it before it's too late. And we know with season five, it's solely focused on Shadow Company who have taken over every single Warzone and DMZ map, where they'll be on the map in every area, but they won't be aggressive towards you and won't shoot you unless you shoot them first. And with the idea that it's you, Shadow Company, taking on Kony, potentially there could be a really awesome twist here where there could be a lot of players split into two different teams. One team being Shadow Company, the other team being Kony Forces, each having AI that you've got to battle to get that chemical weapon and exfil with it, where I assume the map might actually be destroyed. Just judging by the way that that skybox looks, it's giving me Duran Fang Dark Aoife vibes, which is really cool. If the leaks are true about capturing missile silos. If those aren't captured, then yeah, there's a great chance that that could destroy part of the map. As for what we know so far about Call of Duty 2023, we know a lot about the game. We know that it's going to be developed by Sledgehammer Games, and if there was any doubt, the Sledgehammer Games team retweeted Call of Duty's tweet specifically about the reveal event for this game, which just further confirms that this is their game. They changed their logo, where the E in games is a Roman numeral 3, just like in the leaked Modern Warfare 3 logo that was on the artwork that leaked earlier this week and it's set to be a direct sequel continuing on from modern warfare 2 is going to be its own full-fledged game with its own campaign with map
Makarov starring as the main villain with its own multiplayer, with its own new Warzone map, which we believe to be Las Almas. And there's rumors as well about the Outbreak Zombies mode returning for this Modern Warfare game, which I think is going to be very, very exciting. But at the same time, it's going to be a very controversial game when it's revealed and when it launches, because for a lot of people that have been keeping up with all the leaks and rumors of the game, it sounded like it was just going to be an expansion a year two for Modern Warfare 2. But the scope of it has become so big that it became its own full-fledged game. And I think the distinction between this game feeling very different and to it feeling extremely similar to Modern Warfare 2 is going to be a tight balancing act that they're going to need to get right. But there's always something so exciting about in-game reveal events for Call of Duty. I mean, let's just take a look back at Cold War. I mean, what an incredible marketing campaign that game had on the lead up to its reveal with all the stuff with porn takes porn. I'm sure you guys remember all the streams, all the videos, and all the memes that know your history event in Verdansk is up there as one of my favorite most memorable things in all of call of duty the fact it brought so many of the communities together to this one moment to jump into Verdansk and it was very cool and very black ops themed with the fact that there were different steps to freedom which is a direct callback to Vorkuta the prison in black ops 1 where there were so many different little things you had to do in order to complete the event and then basically be ready for the the final minute of the game you had to collect map codes which you had to do by killing other players and looting then you had to go and secure the keys which was driving or flying somewhere over the map to go to a very specific loot box somewhere where you secured the key and then the next step was to crack the map code so again you had to keep looting until you found a code cipher which was part of a mission intel and then the final step was to locate a weapon and it gave you map coordinates so you didn't know exactly where it was but it was in that that general area and what was waiting for you was very incredible it was actually frank woods the new rebooted cold war frank woods just there in verdansk where when you interacted with him he gave you a new blueprint called the bay of pigs which is again another black ops one reference of a bolt action rifle and i think this was just so cool obviously over the last few years we've seen incredible in-game events from games like fortnite so call of duty definitely have a lot of competition to try and make sure that their event is at least on par with it and i don't think every event cod has done has been able to reach the marks of Fortnite, but the King Kong versus Godzilla event, as an example, was actually very impressive on a technical level. And I just hope that we see something that also just blows our socks off with this event in our Masra that is more than just going inside of a bunker, grabbing something and then trying to exfil, but some actual dynamic map events, which seems like is a possibility based on the way that the map looks in this official artwork. When the timer hit zero within the Cold War event, we got the first parts of the teaser trailer for the game and then we had one minute 45 to run to safety to get to the stadium because the whole map was gonna be nuked telling us stuff like we will not survive there was stuff flashing up on the screen the whole time and it was just so incredibly immersive and cool and then the final seconds was the end of the teaser trailer straight into the reveal trailer for black ops cold war and regardless of what your thoughts are so far on modern warfare 3 i think the moment we see that reveal trailer there is just going to be a lot of excitement in the air and lots of excited people in your lobby. The Vanguard reveal event in Warzone wasn't as exciting, but it was still pretty cool. The premise of that was that there was an armored train that was driving around really slowly with these automated sentry turrets, which would kill players immediately. And it was our aim to just destroy all of those to reveal the main exposed parts of the train car. Once we'd done that, we got a train destroyed pop up. Then we had this really cool in-game cinematic of a ton of planes flying over the dance dropping a ton of bombs and i think this was absolutely incredible to see the scale of it was very very impressive and we had to run to an exfil point and once we collected that there was another in-game cutscene where us as the playable character actually faint and then we get the reveal trailer for vanguard so with all of that in mind i'm sure this reveal event is going to be one for the history books just like these